Okay, so welcome back to our little video series on the GCSE higher paper and some of the easier questions. So the next question I picked is, um, it's actually a Pythagoras question. But it does bring up a big problem that I see often with students, is not being able to distinguish between Pythagoras and trigonometry. Okay, so I put up um, the information here at the top. A Pythagoras question will involve a right angle triangle, as will a trigonometry question. So that's where the problem lies. They both look very similar. Uh, how can you tell then when to do Pythagoras? Pythagoras involves three sides. So you'll be given two sides and you have to use those to find the third side. And if you can see in this question here, it says calculate the length QR. QR is this horizontal edge down here. And of course, we already have the sloped edge, the hypotenuse and the vertical side. The final point for Pythagoras is that it will involve no acute angles. Now, okay, we have a right angle here, but these angles, which are acute angles, less than 90 degrees, they are not marked on the actual question. I've just put these in in purple. But the question, as it stands, printed on the paper, uh, just had a blank space here and a blank space there, had the right angle there. But telltale sign for Pythagoras is it involves no acute angles. You're not using them, and you're not finding them. Okay, so over to trigonometry, it's pretty much the direct opposite. We have a right angle triangle here, the right angle would be in there, I haven't drawn it. Now, it will involve an acute angle. So it will either involve this angle down here, you'll be using it, or it will involve that angle up here. I've labelled these angles on this particular triangle, so it would be this angle down here, or this angle up there. Now you're either finding an acute angle, uh, so you'd be using these two sides to find this angle, or you're using the acute angle. So maybe you have one side and one acute angle. So this might be, uh, let's say if this up here would be 60 degrees or something, this would be four. And you'd be using those two bits of information to find another side, either the hypotenuse or possibly the horizontal edge, which would in this case would be the opposite. So that's the main difference between Pythagoras and trigonometry. Okay, so let me take these purple thetas away and let's do this question. Okay, in our question we're told that PQR is a right angle triangle, PQ is 16 centimeters and PR is 8 centimeters. Now quite often this little bit of information down here will just tell you what you can already see in the actual diagram itself. True, we can see that this is a right angle and we also can see that PR is 8 centimeters and PQ is 16 centimeters just duplicates what you can already see visually. So the only thing to take away from that is don't be freaked out if you see a lot of writing here. Quite often it's just telling you what you can already see. Doesn't mean that it's an exceptionally difficult question or anything like that. Okay, so calculate the length QR. QR here. Give your answer correct to two decimal places. Okay, so here's the original triangle as it would be given in the question without the thetas. We're trying to find the side um, QR, which we're going to label X. Now what we need to do is to go to the uh, Pythagoras formula. It's given in the exam, but you should really know it. Um, so let's write this out now. A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared. And it's important that we know that A squared is, it must be the longest side. So the longest side is 16 in this particular triangle. It's the hypotenuse. So we're gonna write 16 squared is equal to, it really doesn't matter which way around these go, 8 squared plus our other side, which is x squared. Okay, so this needs to be a rearranged, so we're going to rearrange this to find x. So we're going to put 16 squared minus 8 squared, minus 8 squared from both sides. And then we can work that out. That's actually going to come to 192 is equal to x squared. Now, to take away the square, we're going to have to square root both sides. So that x is equal to the square root of 192 x is equal to 13.8564064. Now they want it to two decimal places, so when we round that to two decimal places, we get 13.86. Okay, so that's a pretty easy question on Pythagoras, but it did allow us to have a look at one of the so-called silly mistakes that we see on these papers, and that is not being able to tell the difference between a Pythagoras question and a trigonometry question. So I hope that helped, and see you again next time.